down in November. Well, the good news is uh, they sent out last Friday, September the 23rd, a note saying that the club will not be closing down, will not be closing down. Uh, more people are joining, more people are, are playing golf. Uh, the, the facility has been completely renovated. Gorgeous. The golf course itself has never been in the condition that it's in today. So we're glad to hear that. And at the same and time, if you know somebody needs to, that wants to join, Hook them up. Get or, them over or, there. Or they, they want to use the facility. Uh, they, they rent it out. You don't have to mm -hmm. be a member to, to rent a beautiful facility. Tennis courts, whole, swimming. Uh, uh, family reunions, mm -hmm. uh, also uh, weddings, uh, uh, all those kind of things. The Elks Lodge, 1048, which is right here in Opelousa, is the one that you and I belong to. Mm -hmm. uh, they're having a golf scramble, and that's going to be on Monday, October the 17th. So that's a couple of weeks from now. At Indian Hills Country Club, if you or someone out there in Lafayette, New Iberia, uh, Jennings, Louisiana, wherever you are listening and you like to play golf, please come and help. Uh, the Elks Lodge is uh, making some, cons doing some consideration of moving into a larger facility. I won't go into what it is yet because, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. I'll see if they want me to say that, but anyhow, they are trying to raise some serious dollars here, and this is, you're going to have a good time, and if you haven't played in a few years, you're going to be surprised at how nice the course is, and we want to thank uh, the Lee Young, Shirley Young family for doing such a great job and helping out, because I think every community our size and a lot smaller ones should have a golf course. Yes, sir. September 30th, Music and Market Series. Did I sell it enough? You sold it. I sold it, all this right. This Friday, September 30th, Music and Market Series with Chubby Carey and the Bayou Swamp Band over at the Farmer's Market in Le Vieux Village. Music will start at 6 p.m. Go by and have a good time. I believe the vegetable this week is going to be eggplant, so go by and have a good time. We just got this. Uh, Keith uh, Nazat, uh, sales uh, rep here, uh, was with... Uh, Matt LeBlanc, they just went and do some filming of some new uh, commercials that will come out for John R. Young. Uh, what is it? Uh, Chevy, Buick, and GMC dealership in downtown Eunice, Louisiana, right on, on the, Highway 190. On the main drag. Uh, they reported that a longtime employee of theirs had died, Raymond, better known as Pucci Fontenot. He was born in 39. He died September the 25th, a couple of days ago, uh, at location in Eunice. Uh, he was 71 years old, and uh, he, uh, of course, was a very, he was the uh, sales, manager. sales manager there right. for years. So our deepest sympathies uh, to the Fontenot Welcome family. Welcome back, Hello. Coming up, the St. Landry Catholic Church Cemetery Tours are coming up right here starting next weekend. I guess it's October the 8th, 9th. Yes, 8th and 9th. It's going to be, uh, I'm, I'm going to get it right. 8th and 9th. And then the following weekend, the 15th and 16th. On the Saturdays, they do the tours from about 6 p.m. till 8. And they have three tours, 6, 7, and 8. Sunday tours are 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. That's on the 15th and 16th of October. Uh, very inexpensive, $10 a tour. Go by. It's all going to be about Civil War time. They'll be talking about a whole lot of our history. And you'll get to meet people or reenactors of people who are all from the Opelousas area who had big impacts on the Civil War and Civil War history and our entire community even to this day. I've got a, a story to tell. Uh, Go ahead. And I'd like to... Uh, get you to pull up uh we got we got some pictures, pictures that i took uh over at the shed i got it right on highway uh 93 uh on the scott exit there yes sir it used to be the iron horse uh motorcycle uh business type you know catered the shed came in and uh, did an excellent job of making it look uh, old and uh, kind of antiquish looking. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was a nice young lady uh, taking care of us. Uh, David and I had worked all day. We decided to stop in there yesterday afternoon, coming back from two or three places we had visited in Lafayette. And uh, the young lady there is uh, Jamie Quibido. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I've 
found out that one of the, this young lady right here is Alex uh, Jones in the gray t-shirts. And I might add that her daddy is the mayor of the big town of Crowley, Louisiana. So no real sweet little lady. She's starting college this year. She's 18, old enough to serve beer, but not old enough to, to drink, drink any beer. beer. But that law's kind of funny there. And then uh, here is a, a, a man that recognized me and was telling them how good our program, you and I, he, he loves to watch us play off of each other. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm, of course, speaking about uh, Frank Sinclair. Mm -hmm. uh, Frank Sinclair, uh, I guess you could call him the dirt man. He was going to do a job. He was leaving about six o'clock in the afternoon to put another, build up another driveway. Uh, and this young lady right here uh, is uh, Brooke. Uh, Brooke is uh, one, one of, one of the two young people that started the shed. Her brother, uh, her brother is Brad, and uh, Brad was not there, but the mama was there. Let's go, let's, let's go a little bit further, and we'll get the mama's picture. One more spot, there it is. And right. there's the mama right here, and of course the mama is Linda Orison. Uh, the, the family name is Orison, O-R-R-I-S-O-N. The shed was started in the, Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And she's invited uh, all of us when we go to our annual uh, Super, Bowl party. Super Bowl party to go by and visit. She'll take us to dinner there at the shed or wherever we want to go, she says. And I might add that uh, it's a very interesting uh, way that they got started. Uh, they, both her, her son, Brad, and her daughter, Brooke, was in college, and uh, Brad had been picking up junk for years, and he decided to start a business. It was 300 and, I think, 40 square feet large. Really? He was thinking small, but uh, this idea that he had uh, is now, I think, they have six locations, and, of course, this one here, the barbecue is delicious. If it's not good, send me the bill, and I'll cover the tab for you. There you go. You. Uh, that, that's how much I believe in the product that uh, these people have come up with. And I told her, well, we went to Ocean Springs to have dinner uh, this past uh, Super Bowl weekend. Mm -hmm. She says, Ocean Springs, you remember the name. So finally, we, we told her that, uh, I, I called Vicky. I said, Vicky, you know, and she says, I can't think of the name, but it was a little bitty, bitty bar in the back. And she said they had, name. and they had the uh, flowers Mm -hmm. on, on the on the counter and in the drinks, some of the drinks they would make, and she says Kenny Ward restaurant. That's exactly and, it was and, a man's name. I remember man's that. name, Kenny Ward's it's restaurant. And uh, anyhow, had a great. Well, you can tell uh, those are the kind of people I like to see. Nothing but positive. You know, they they're not complaining. Uh, I'm sure they could use some more business, and that's why I'm trying to build them up. While you do. while you're over there, go by and visit them. If, and, and if the food's not good, I'll pick up the tab for awesome, you. Send man. me the bill. Dixie Storage, all your storage needs, personal and commercial, with locations throughout St. Leonard Parish. Dixie Storage can help you with little bitty things. If it's just a little bit of household type items, maybe you're trying to put some furniture together over, over there while you're doing some rearranging, maybe to send to the kids uh, in their dorm, maybe it's to send to your camp, maybe you're re revamping the house, need a place to store some things temporarily, they've got all that. They've got climate control units, they've got RV uh, spots, they've got boat spots uh, inside high security on concrete so you keep your feet nice and clean and your stuff's well protected. Don't forget their sister company A Plus Glass with locations in Lafayette and in Opelousas. And one more, quality portable buildings. Quality portable buildings. They've got uh, that location right there at exit 23. Uh, garage, barn, storage, outdoor kitchen, office, beauty shop, you name it. They've got a building that can fit that need. They've got it uh, quality built and quality price. They've got propane sales and U-Haul rentals as well. Just tell Hugh Guidry, Bobby and Andrew sent you. And the uh, LSU Tigers uh, on the okay. AP poll have been raised up to the slot of number one ranked mm -hmm. national college football. And uh, I might add that uh, the Saturday night game was very interested, interesting. We wasn't in at the and you know, there wasn't many LSU fans. That's the first time I've ever seen so few fans on TV. You mean? Well, in the in the in the show that where the LSU people were, it was I read, not many. I read an article this morning. They said they think it might be the most 
that a, an away team brought there. Well, which I thought was interesting. Well, yeah, because to me, unlike well, you, what I oh, saw on no, TV, it didn't was look very, like a big no, crowd. No, it was not. It was not but, many. But did you hear that they also got assaulted uh, after that? A couple. There's got, always a, an a, excuse. Me, I, I went to say. <laughs> oh, I went to say something. There's always somebody that's not behaving. That, that's not behaving and <laughs> threw a rock. Probably thinking the window was up, the window was down, went inside and hit somebody in the eye and fractured the, the well, socket. Well, I, I think the rock landed in and, and then they pulled the guy out and they beat him. Well, that was him. the other one, yeah, but I don't think it was the same person not that good. got hit. Yeah, it, it was not pretty. But, you know, you can't hold the, the, the West Virginia the whole fan. Town. They do right. have a bad habit, though. And they had warned everybody. They go out and they start fires they on burn, the campus. They, they burn, burn couches. They burn all kinds of things. And I, I, I don't know. It, it, it's it kind of got to. But let's go a little bit. How about UL? UL. Three Excellent. and one record. And I have, uh, I, in fact, I sent $250 to the football program. Uh, T-Ball Abay out of Kenna, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Good morning, T-Ball. Or somebody that knows it, be sure to tell him Saturday hello from Bobby Dupree. Pray. It's and looking good. Side it's kick. looking it's good. Looking good. They want a big crowd this weekend. Yeah. They're favored this weekend against Florida Atlantic. Really? And they, oh, beat, at home. The, they beat the number one team in, in the conference. In the, one the conference. That, the one that won the conference last year was picked to win again. So, I mean, they, they're on a roll. They're on a roll. And it's all started with, with, with the recruiting they did with this new coach and the work that they put in this summer in conditioning. And uh, and it don't hurt. They got that great tight end that's going to play on Sundays, too. That tight end is excellent. And it looks like this young Gauthier uh, quarterback uh, is He's suddenly on fire, is what they say right here. And uh, he was named the uh, outstanding uh, Sun Belt player of the week, there offensive you player. You got any obituaries? We're down to about two minutes left. I want to remind everybody, this Sunday is the Bo Shen High School Mattress Fundraiser Sale. Go buy from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. this Sunday. It's one day only. Uh, go and buy a mattress. Free layaway is available. Cash, checks, and cards are accepted. Okay, just keep talking. And we also got Clue going on. Opposite Little Theater is doing Clue at the Delta Grand Theater. You can go uh, each, each night this week, which is uh, what, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 7 p.m., Sunday mat matinee at 2 p.m. It's the last weekend for it. If you want more info, call Duncan McBride, 351-3822, or pick up tickets at Sebastian Dupre Fond Jewelry, 948 436 I'm afraid we're down to about a minute and a half. The Latchelet left. sisters have a new cookbook coming out. You can call uh, Tricia Miller Carrier at 337 uh, 849 8021. They had ordered 800 to be produced. They've already got pre orders for over 1,200. That was either Wednesday or Thursday. So they're probably closer to 1,500. And these will be printed and available for Christmas gifts. So keep that in mind. Nice. I'll keep producing. It's only $20. And these young ladies are known for their cooking abilities. I'm sure it's going to be a good cookbook. And I'll, I'm going to order one for you and I. There you go. And the Port Barry uh, FFA chapter is going to have a yard sale Saturday, October the 10th at Port Barry High. Find your prayer book. October 10th at Port Barry High. Money raised will be to go to National Convention. And we're down to the end. we got 40 seconds to roll. Okay. I want to thank everybody for watching again this week and listening on the radio. And, and that's right. And the internet. And the uh, internet. And the internet. And, uh, Every week we uh, close by asking you to consider attending the church of your choice. And uh, we close with a thought, uh, possibly you might call it a prayer. The book says it's a prayer. Most loving Father, strengthen my weakness by your grace. Make use of me to, do a faithful, to be a faithful helper in your kingdom. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for listening. Please tell a friend.